Well, hello there again. You know, I think last one of these things I was talking about, I was talking about the uh, citizenship not being worth a darn. Well, I was, I was reading and listening to some stuff about Florida down there and about, I think it was called it Amendment 4 that they passed. Uh, sounded like a couple of black fellers was smart enough to get their stuff together and go get a, an amendment put up and got it passed that they restored was supposed to restore citizenship to these fellers that uh, had been convicted of a felony. Well, you know, that's something that's kind of a sore spot with me. I don't believe in all this paint. You know, I'm, I believe in Christianity as it's taught in the book. Not necessarily as some of these preachers and priests and stuff out here spout about it. But as it says in the book, you know, things that, that Jesus Christ taught. Now, I don't think we got the right to punish people. Uh, we, it's our duty to protect our different societies from the acts that uh, other people might not like us or whatever. Uh, like in them Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not steal. We've got a right to protect our people from other people stealing. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Well, we ain't got a <coughs> right to go stopping people from committing adultery, but so that's not really, can't be figured in as being some kind of a crime that could be nailed as a felony. But now rape certainly can. Forcible rape, you can't, no, you can't attack another person in any way, shape, or form and not have a crime if they aren't, unless you're defending yourself. See? Some guy wants to go after some lady and get her skivvies off and she hauls off and shoots him so he can't. Ain't nothing wrong with what she did. Okay? Now, so these things about this uh, uh, committing crimes in the good book, the Bible there, you can repent, it says. And to repent, the things, the beginning is you got to recognize you're doing something wrong. The second thing you got to do is you got to make a covenant that you won't do it anymore. If you're a thief, you got to make sure, make a promise, a holy promise to yourself that you ain't gonna steal nothing more. And the third thing you gotta do is make restitution. If you stole a hundred dollars from some feller or you took somebody's cow rustling or you stole a horse kind of things you used to get hung for in the old west uh, you gotta replace that make restitution. Make the guy or the lady ha satisfied that you have paid back your debt. And the fourth thing you gotta do <laughs> well I forgot the fourth thing you gotta do right at the moment. So it don't matter but you gotta make that restitution and when you've done that stuff you should get back you're forgiven of that sin. You should be forgiven of that crime. If you robbed $100 from a feller down at the local liquor store and you was caught, you was judged guilty and you was put in prison. Now, 
I'm not sure about this prison stuff, but when you got out, if you paid back the hundred dollars and you was vowed and everything and you showed for a period of time, like they say on this probation stuff, you get out of it, that's when you should get your citizenship back. Now, like all this naturalization stuff that the government's supposed to have up that them guys have all failed to do their job on back to politicians and like Washington uh, there's supposed to be some kind of a deal for these felons that they can get their citizenship back and it shouldn't be a whole bunch of malarkey I mean there shouldn't be it shouldn't be that they have to pay the $30,000 in court fees or anything else like that. No, it should be that they make restitution. Now, if they beat somebody up and the guy went to the hospital, they got to pay the hospital bill, maybe. Whatever's reasonable. Now, if they killed somebody, now that's where it gets a little tricky with me because I know that murder is the shedding of innocent blood. Now somebody that's defending herself and kills somebody, a fella or a woman, that ain't murder. That ain't even a crime. That ain't a sin. If one gangbanger out here shoots another gangbanger, that isn't innocent blood. If there's been a fight going on between them. Ah, uh, there might be some... Well, it's just a touchy point. It shouldn't be, well, you're guilty of second degree murder. Uh, no. <laughs> you shot some gangbanger. You did society a service. Should get paid for it. But, there's got to be some way that you could, if you wanted, to get your citizenship back for that crime. Uh, that's the way it should be. But these laws they put up there, no, you get stuck in jail for stealing a car and you get convicted of a felony the way them socialists and stuff and that government's done, why, that is a forever sentence. That's not right. After you served your seven years, you paid back the money, or you bought, paid that for that car you stole, and all that, okay? That should be the end of it. You should they have some kind of naturalization thing like they do for these people that's coming in from another country that's legal an immigrant. Well, there should be the same thing. You're an immigrant. You just came out of that prison country. You come in, you've spent your five years, your seven years since in the United States being a good boy or girl. You take this test, this written test of some kind about the government, whatever, just reasonable. Okay, it's forgot. You can go down and buy a firearm. You can go down and register to vote. And you can do all these things. That's the way it's supposed to be. But the way the socialists have screwed up this government that we were given in the Constitution of the United States, they didn't make no arrangements for them things. They made arrangements in original intent that when you got convicted of that felony, you lost your citizenship. That was part of the punishment, or that was the punishment. By them standards, they actually should have put up some area of a state like they did with them poor Indians in Oklahoma made some place where there was a couple or three towns that you guys that was convicted of felonies could go to. <laughs>
have a different kind of setup there. Kind of took care of yourselves and everything. Yeah, that means citizenship. It means something. But you know them socialists don't want nobody to be a citizen. They want everybody to be a world voter. They don't want to call out and make that legal for them illegal veteran, them illegal aliens to go out of the country, go through a little bit of rigmarole for six months or so, get a visa, come back in, go back to the place where they were living and the job they were doing as an illegal alien, as a legal alien with rights to go ahead and get citizenship in five or seven years. Now, my ancestors came in, most of them came in through that uh, place back there in New York Harbor. Uh, had a picture of that Ellis Island, I think, at the beginning of this. They went through and got all paper documentation and everything and then they got into the country and they went and over the next I can't remember what it was, five or seven years they had to learn English they had to learn about the government they had to learn about this stuff they then they could become citizens they were naturalized they went down and then they put their arm in the air and they swore to uphold the Constitution and all that good stuff. Now, the socialists don't want you to do that because that is living by the law, under the law. They want to be controlling. They want to have their, they want to be Duchess and Duke, King and Queen, and they want you under their thumbs. They want you to be dependent upon them. They want us to, yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. But in this country, everybody is as good as everybody else. Hmm. You know, that's right. Even that God I believe in looks at us that way. Ain't nobody any better than me, and I ain't no better than anybody else don't matter if I was that billionaire back there with all that fancy stuff that's trying to push all that uh, brainwashing onto the kids in public school or nothing like that. Still just like me and when he steps through the curtain he's going to answer just like when I step through that curtain and go looking around at that hereafter. I'm going to have to answer for what i done wrong and get praised for what I might have done right. Talk to you later. Have a good day and be wonderful to each other.